Let me start off by saying I want to fucking die. <laughs> um, yeah. I've been asked several times for a video about my, uh, my truck setup. I'm sure people see it a lot in the truck, uh, in the videos and stuff. Some people may not be aware, uh, most that watch the podcast know. Mark Tanner built that custom for himself. It's a 50 gallon tank with a Tucker DI cartridge on it, a 12 volt pump, a battery, a voltage uh, readout, a ho Cox hose reel. Um, it's made designed to slide in and out of the back of your truck. I fill it up with uh, uh, Zero Revolution Pro Max 9000 ABC DFG. I do take my my Revolution Max. I do take it out, but it's very rare since I've got this. I had an X2 before that, and before the X2, I had I had a hydro cart sliding around the back of the bed of the truck. For years, I used my IPC four-stage hydro car for over a decade. Um, it was electric. You had to plug it in everywhere. It was, you know, it was good for big jobs. But outside of big jobs, doing like houses and stuff, it sucked. It was just, uh, it was a shit show, is what it was. I was having to worry about power because there's no, you're getting no flow through that thing if there ain't power it's not designed to just work without the electric pump pumping water I mean I could hook that I could replace the resin in that hook it up that hydro cart and bang windows out all summer it would run without a hitch that's I mean it's great so I used to rock one of these it's old IPC Four stage hydro cart electric. I mean, I've got an X2 over there in the corner. That's the one that blew up. It froze and blew up on me. My heat went out. An old show gun in the corner I don't use. It's just too pretty to use. Some Kevlar extensions, more extensions, screen. Speaking of screen, I had a huge screen job. Huge one. It was huge. It's my custom-made silencer up there. I don't use anymore. A couple samurais for the girls when they're working. A little surface cleaner. My neighbor's shop next door is dirty as shit. I was going to put the steel up, but I'm too busy. Pressure washing hose, my a spare pool pump, my toolbox, my custom made screen table, cost me thousands of dollars. I was asked to do a video on my truck setup, so here it is. This is my skid mark. This is Mark's first unit he ever built. It's got a 12 volt pump right there. I just used the quality farm and fleet version because 20 bucks gets you another one when that one dies about 250 feet of five ASOs and then my my pole lead my screen washer a little expansion tank there on the side Fifty gallons of pure water that I purify with my Zero Max Revolution, my Revolution Zero Revolution Max, whatever you want to call it. And my bucket with my trad tools in it. My squeegee life pole right here. Squeegee life pole. I should, probably shouldn't have shown you that brush, but whatever. A couple other brushes and homemade attachment I got from Mike Nichols put maker pads on there 
works out pretty good sometimes another brush I was testing but don't know whatever happened to that there's a 28 foot ladder then my stack ladder there that's always stacked on my truck <laughs> I just don't have room for it in the bed so I like to slide my pressure washer in here my chemical and all that back there so I like to keep that free then of course the the old toolbox here. Let's see if I can get it open one-handed. Probably not. Nope, it's locked. Ah, right, here I'll set this down. Here's my toolbox. I got my my pouch and my silencer, my spare poles, my forefoot and my couple trap poles, my sim pole extra squeegees um really this is just full of shit really i don't really need this box anymore i've kind of grown out of it but it's got tools in it gutter cleaning equipment spare fittings for the water fed pole stuff like that cab of the truck you guys see the cab of the truck all the time you guys see the cab all the time but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's my old truck, the Ranger. That's what I started with. Actually, I didn't start with this Ranger. I started with a different one. But she's seen better days. Now I just take it to the landfill. That's pretty much it. I'm kind of minimalist when it comes to my tools. I don't carry a large number of tools on my belt around my hip like a commercial work is like 18 to 22 and of course always my 12 inch or 14 inch zero degree whichever I'm using that at that time um, a washer an 18 inch washer and uh, a trad pole and that's pretty much it and a scraper well yeah I'm gonna go over to the job I'm finishing up today I'll kind of show you uh, a little bit on how quickly I get set up with this skid mark which is essentially this video is kind of like about the skid mark and my truck set up and what I use and all that good stuff I mean what you guys pretty much know what I use I mean it's you know there's no mysteries there but yeah the skid mark works pretty well uh, 50 gallons of pure water goes a long way. I can get a couple houses exterior only two to three houses Just depends on the size of the house and how dirty they are outside relatively easy I do Charge the, the battery every evening or every other evening. It just depends on how much I'm using it that day um, I do have the stuff sitting over here on the ground right there that FedEx envelope right there I got all the I got all the stuff to uh, hook up um, a charging system in my truck so it'll charge while I'm driving I'm gonna do that um, after I get I, I gotta get caught up first I got a bunch of stuff at two huge jobs I'm doing and I'm about to finish the other big one today so this weekend I'm gonna do some housekeeping on the shop and do a little work on getting the truck set up a little bit better to charge the skid but yeah I just I usually what I do is I uh, every night I'll come home and I'll um, you know fill her up with water for the next day and you know if it needs charge charge it up overnight and you know I get up in the morning and disconnect and get down the road and get to clean and it's made it's made cleaning windows with pure water a lot more feasible for me because I would before that I would have to carry around that hydro cart and run power and water and then pull out all the hose this I just pull out the hose flip the switch and go so before I wasn't really using water fed pole a whole bunch um, of course there were jobs I just I had to use it like the ones I'm do I've done this week this past week and today Man, pretty much I had to to get them done. I pretty much need to use a water-fed pole. Um, it just works the best. 
it's quick, it's efficient, and it keeps me competitive. So, but yeah, it's uh, it's probably one of the uh, the best investments I've made in myself in my company is that skid. So I really appreciate Mark hooking me up with it, giving me a good deal on his old unit, and uh, it's ran. I've had no issues with it none it works perfect mark does a good job building things this isn't an advertisement for you to go out and um ask mark to build you one <laughs> um, i did forget to mention it does have a tucker di cartridge on it um i don't uh i don't buy the di cartridge from tucker i just cut the end off of it and electrical taped it back on I just fill it with my own resin I'm not paying that dude a bunch of money for those cartridges that's just ridiculous just cut the end off and electrical tape it back on it works perfect I've got no issues and had zero issues doing that so I did that with the um the IPC hydro cart too that was Alex's suggestion actually he's like man these are really expensive you could do this and it'll work and I tried it and then I added, you know, Mark's like, hey, take mine apart. You'll see that there's electrical tape holding that on. It works perfect. And ever since I did that, I've never looked back. It works out great. So, got to get this thing knocked out. Get this job finished and move on uh, to other things. I got, just booked another really big job uh, this Friday. So, you know, they're stacking up, which is great. Yeah, peace. my life so much my window cleaning life so much simpler I'm not having to deal with a bunch of bullshit it's just it's super easy and I've become very dependent on it I will say that as far as pure water window cleaning goes I've come become very dependent on this uh, skit it's definitely made me a lot of money so I'm very thankful to Mark for making me a good deal on it I really appreciate that and I also appreciate uh, Seth a whole bunch because Seth essentially bought it for me because I sold him a bunch of shit that I don't use <laughs> and took that money I was like hey just give Mark the money you know I'll, I'll send you the shit give Mark the money <laughs> but yeah we went down to it's like a it starts with a B 
I can't remember what it's called, but this ATV park in Tennessee, we all met there. I got the skid, and Mark hooked me up and made me a, a, a custom smoker out of a, a bread proofing oven and stuff, which is probably one of, that. it's not probably, it's one of my most prized possessions that uh, smoker Mark made me, so, but this video is like 12, 13 minutes long so far. I've probably recorded like 20 minutes already of just me talking. So, unless I got something else super important to say, um, you're probably not going to hear me talking much unless something pops up in my head. But, yeah, that's that.